Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. For today's lesson, ang pag-aaralan natin ay joint variation. Joint variation describes a situation when one variable depends on two or more other variables and varies directly as each of them when the others are held constant. And the statement A varies jointly as B and C means A is equal to K times B times C or K is equal to A divided by the product of B and C. So, kung mapapansin nyo, class, yung joint variation ay halos katulad lang ng direct variation but involves more than one other variable. Now, let's translate each statement into a mathematical sentence and use K as the constant of variation. Number one, A varies jointly as L and W. So, para maisulat natin ito sa mathematical sentence, Isa substitute lang natin ito katulad nung ibinigay nating equation kanina na A is equal to K times B times C. So kung ano ang unang variable class na binanggit sa given, siya yung una nating isusulat at siya yung nasa left side ng equation. At yung pangalawa at pangatlong variable naman ay imumultiply naman natin sa constant K na ilalagay natin sa right side ng equation. Kaya ang sagot natin dito sa number 1 is A is equal to K times L times W. Number 2, V varies jointly as L, W, and H. So dito sa number 2, nadagdagan siya ng isa pang variable. Pero ganun pa din naman class ang gagawin natin. Ilalagay lang natin sa left side ng equation yung unang variable na binanggit. At yung ibang variable naman ay imumultiply lang natin sa constant k at ilalagay naman natin sa right side ng equation. So our answer is v is equal to k times l times w times h. For number 3, the heap h produced by an electric lump varies jointly as the resistance r and the square of the current i. So, ganun pa din naman class ang gagawin natin. Make sure lang na huwag niyong kakalimutang lagyan ng exponent na 2 yung ating variable na i. Since may nakalagay na square at the current i sa given. Kaya ang magiging sagot natin dito ay h is equal to k times r times i squared. So, proceed naman tayo class sa letter b. Solve for the value of the constant of variation k then find the missing value. Number 1, A varies jointly as B and C, and A is equal to 60 when B is equal to 5 and C is equal to 6. Then, find A when B is equal to 7 and C is equal to 6. For letter B, find B when A is equal to 72 and C is equal to 4. Then, find C when A is equal to 80 and B is equal to 4. So, dito class, ang una nating gagawin ay kunin ang constant ng variation. Pero bago yan, tuturuan ko muna kayo kung paano natin maidi-derive ang formula ng constant sa joint variation galing sa equation ng ating joint variation. A is equal to K times B times C. Ang gagawin natin dito ay isa-separate or i-isolate lang natin ang constant k. Ibig sabihin, aalisin natin yung variable na b and c or ililipat lang natin sa kabila. At para magawa natin yan, gagamitan lang natin ng division property of equality. I-divide natin both sides by the product of b and c. Then, cancel natin class yung B and C. So, magiging A divided by the product of B and C is equal to K or K is equal to A divided by B times C. At ito yung formula na gagamitin natin para makuha ang constant ng 
variation. Now, solve na natin class yung constant ng variation. Is substitute na natin yung value ng A, B, and C. So, magkakaroon tayo ng K is equal to 60 divided by the product of 5 and 6. And 5 times 6 is 30. So, K is equal to 60 over 30. Tapos, 60 divided by 30 is 2. So, our constant is equal to 2. Na yung nakuha na natin class, ang value ng constant, pwede na natin sagutan yung missing value sa letter A, B, and C. So, unahin na natin yung sa letter A. Find A when B is equal to 7 and C is equal to 6. First, isulat muna natin yung equation ng joint variation. A is equal to K times B times C. Tapos, isubstitute na natin yung value ng K, B, and C. So, magiging A is equal to the quantity of 2 times the quantity of 7 times the quantity of 6. And 2 times 7 times 6 is equal to 84. So, A is equal to 84. For letter B, find D when A is equal to 72 and C is equal to 4. So, ganun ulit class. Sulat lang natin ang equation ng A is equal to K times B times C. So, dito, pwede naman na isubstitute natin agad yung value ng K, A, and C. Tapos, simplify. Or, pwede rin naman na i-derive natin yung formula katulad nung ginawa natin kanina. Pero, syempre, since B yung hinahanap, B naman yung i-isolate natin. So, divide natin both sides by KC. Tapos, cancel KC. So, ang may E1 class is A divided by the product of K and C is equal to B. Or B is equal to A divided by the product of K and C. Pagkatapos, substitute lang natin class yung value ng A. C, and K. So, magkakaroon tayo ng B is equal to 72 divided by the quantity of 2 times the quantity of 4. Tapos, multiply natin. 2 times 4 is 8. So, 72 divided by 8. And 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. So, yung letter B natin is 9. Okay, next, for letter C, Find C when A is equal to 80 and B is equal to 4. So, isulat lang natin ulit class yung ating equation. A is equal to K times B times C. Pagkatapos, uh, sagutan naman natin ng hindi na ininiderive yung formula. Ibig sabihin, isa substitute natin kaagad yung value ng K, A, and B. So, magkakaroon tayo class ng 80 is equal to the quantity of 2 times the quantity of 4 times C. Tapos, simplify natin yung 2 times 4. So, magiging 80 is equal to 8C. Tapos, gamitan naman natin ng division property of equality. Divide natin both sides by 8. So, 80 divided by 8 is equal to 8C divided by 8. Tapos, cancel natin class yung 8. And 80 divided by 8 is equal to 10. So, C is equal to 10. Okay, next for number 2. Z varies jointly as the square root of the product of X and Y. If Z is equal to 3, when X is equal to 3, and Y is 12, Find x when z is equal to 6 and y is equal to 64. So, una, isulat muna natin yung kanyang mathematical sentence. Pagkatapos, substitute the value of z, x, and y. After that, i-multiply muna natin class yung nasa loob ng radical. So, 3 times 12 is equal to 36. 
So, kaya po naging 3 is equal to k and the square root of 36. Then, kunin na natin yung square root ng 36. So, square root ng 36 is 6. Kaya po naging 3 is equal to 6k. Pagkatapos, gagamitan naman natin ito ng division property of equality. So, divide natin both sides by 6. So, magiging 3 over 6 is equal to k. Then, kunin naman natin yung lowest term ng 3 over 6. So, i-divide lang natin ito yung numerator and denominator by 3. So, magiging k is 1 half. So, nakuha na natin yung constant class ng variation. Now, let's find x when z is equal to 6 and y is equal to 64. Gagamitin lang ulit natin dito yung equation natin kanina. Then, substitute natin yung value ng z, k, and y. Tapos, punin natin class yung square root ng 64. So, magiging 6 is equal to 1 half times the quantity of 8 and square root of x. Next, multiply naman natin class yung 1 half and 8. So, 1 half times 8 is equal to 4. Kaya po naging 6 is equal to 4 and square root of x. Then, gagamitan naman natin class ng division property of equality. I-divide natin both sides by 4. Next, cancel natin dito yung 4. Tapos, kukunin natin naman yung lowest term class ng 6 over 4. So, yung lowest term ng 6 over 4 is 3 over 2. So, 3 over 2 is equal to the square root of x. After that, square natin yung both sides ng equation para maalis natin yung radical symbol or radical sign. Then, uh, cancel natin class yung radical and square. So, ang matitira dyan is 3 over 2 raised to the second power is equal to x. Then, pag sinimplify natin yung 3 over 2 raised to the second power, magiging 9 over 4. So, 9 over 4 is equal to x or x is equal to 9 over 4. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron kayong hindi naintindihan or meron kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.